Welcome to a trend hopping episode of AWS Unorganized. I'm your host, Gary Dane, and today we got yet another spectacular special wacky match as two internet stars, Ina from Ina, is taking on that silly clown for that amazing digital circus, uh, that palm. Not to be confused with the Pimney. The Pim from Smiling Friends. No, no, no. This here's Palmney. And uh, this match. Why is this match happening? Uh, certainly doesn't have anything to do with the fact that uh, one of their shows managed to get. Honestly, I think both of their shows have more views in one episode than our channel's gotten in our entire history. Slightly great fact. Both a great and depressing fact at the same time. Uh, but first, here comes Ina. We last saw Ina. When she kind of appeared in that weird dimension that King Vortex got trapped into. You know, confronted him, Michael Cole and Ray were there for some reason. She just turned her Lily doll into like a hedge clippers. I also this is our first ever match inside the circus, because literally right as I got the footage for the original match, um RDM decided to release a circus arena, which I felt fit a little too perfectly, so yeah, so this is kind of the technically the second time these two have fought right here. Uh, can Ina get her win back against Pomni is the question. In that dark match, it appears that the sheep mask being set down made it blue. And yes, these two are fighting because they both happen to have the same voice actress. At least one of Ina's voices. She's kind of got several, but one of them. And now here comes the clown of the hour, and uh... Oh, oh, hey, hey guys! Oh, oh. Uh, great, it's the uh, obvious joke fan. What do you want, obvious joke fan? <laughs> you see that character, right? <laughs> yes, I, I, I do see Pomni. Yeah. Well, oh, did, did you know that she has rule 34? <laughs> Yes, uh, I, 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 I am aware. I am Gary Dane, clown connoisseur. I, I, I am aware. <laughs> it's pretty funny, huh? <laughs> I don't know why you're turning in Nostalgia Critic's impression of Robin Williams, but, like, I, I kind of need you to get out of my face, man, because, like, literally everyone and their grandmas talked about, like, yes, it sure is silly that a adult character has rule 34 of them, just like every other fictional character in the history of existence. I, I, I don't know why uh, this one in particular is the one that you're freaking out about, considering that this is a tradition as old as, I think, 2007. It was, it was one album in the, it was the same year album in the Chipmunks came out that the website was founded, but... Like, yeah, I, I, I just don't really see why, like, it's a big deal that this character, of all characters, is the one, like, y you know what's up, but, like, is this really the character we're making the big deal out of? Well, I, uh, poor and funny, huh? No, it's not. I'm sorry, but, like, I know we shouldn't be talking since this is AWS, but, like, it's like, come on. At least have some creativity with the joke here. Like that bowling leg drop, that was creative right there. You should try that. Be like Aiden English. More like anal, anal. You know, okay, can make it No. Alright, so these two are battling. You know, biting Pomni's hand. She did not appreciate the dark match loss, so now she is trying to get vengeance as they are battling by the food truck right here. By the AWS tacos now. We got Choco tacos, regular tacos, burritos, we got cheeseburgers. Now, granted, a lot of this is made with enough lard to uh, be hazardous to, like, even eat one of them, but, uh, no, it's AWS. When do you care about your health, silly goose? Is this already it? A. Two. Oh. Pomni kicks Audi. And now rolls her up. But we can't see because Seuss is... Oh, he's too busy eating. He forgot that he's supposed to shoot the match. And this food truck is crazy, and she gets whipped into stairs. 
Both of these women have some crazy agility, but that wheelbarrow stunner. Like, man, I gotta I got sit. Wait, oh, oh, Inhalation. Oh my god, that might be it. Hey, two. Nah, Pomni kicks out, though. You can't keep a clown down, that is for sure. Her and Lock Clown, both graduating from uh, the Insane Clown Posse's uh, Clown College for Wrestlers. Can these two uh, new... We saw Lock Clown when he battled Guptil twice. And now we're going to see what uh, Pomni is capable of. I almost called her Ida, but they are in fact different. As, oh, here comes Chernobyl sniffing about. Sorry if you heard that. Uh, she really likes smelling things. It's her uh, favorite hobby in the world. Uh... That's all about the so best I can say. Oh, what's Pomdol's going for here? Stomps on the back of the neck. I mean, honestly, to be fair to Palm, I can understand why she's a little aggressive here, as I feel like this is the one place that would be worse to be at than the digital circus. Very tail ending, but, uh, like, yeah, this, like, yeah, if I were her, I'd, I'd be trying to get back to the circus, too, because this, this might be an even bigger nightmare. Oh, she almost went that merry-go-round cutter. But Ida, she had other plans. She's saying, no, I'm tired. I'm tired of you, clown. You jester. Surely, and then uh, Pomni's like, surely you're jesting. Eh? Okay, I'll shut up now. Hey, two, oh, but another kick out. She's not one to give up easily, but Ida... You know, she, she's got, like, her own weird, like, pocket dimension thing going on, so, like, we... We don't know what she's capable of. Also, I am told by Doug Dimdom that the winner has a yet-to-be-determined uh, reward for winning, so it'll be interesting to see uh, what that reward will be in the future. It's kind of the thing about last-minute uh, trying to jump on hype train videos is that uh, sometimes you don't entirely plan ahead, but that's okay. Sometimes you just gotta cheat. At least we didn't pull a life in the tent and try to do it over a national tragedy. So you gotta give us that. Jumping DDT with a little leg kick there. That was a nice move by the clown. But Ida, the glitch, has had enough. She, she might be hitting her with a Doron. Does she have a Doron in her system? We'll have to find out. And, uh... In case you don't know what that was a reference to, go, go watch both of these people's shows. Like, they're, they're a fun time. Uh, no, one of them's made by Gooseworks, and she does, like, mashups. And she started off doing mashups, but now does the, the funny... The, 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 sh the circus show, so that's pretty cool. Uh, nice character evolution there. Uh, Ina, she got some... She got a game coming out. Was sadly just delayed, but uh, you know what? Better to better to get the proper cooking in the oven though. Don't pull a Sega, so I'm I'm okay with that fact. Also, Ina took a bludgeoning with the chair from Palm and gets a neck brick like I think she attempted to hit Palm's head on the chair, but Ina kinda landed back first on it. Oh, 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 oh. Dawn! She didn't do the full dance, but she did get the chop in. Is that enough? Hey. Two, D. Ina picks up the victory as man. Even in AWS, Pomni cannot catch a break. But good victory for oh Jesus! But yeah, good victory though for Ina. It took two torons to take her out though, so you gotta, gotta give her that. But overall, nice competitive match here. But at the end of the day, you know, sometimes two minds are better than one, and uh, yeah, two heads are better than one. They're twice the fun, ask anyone. I know the original song was Two Beavers, but I... I don't know. Zena does a little celebrating. Threatening to chop off everyone's foreskin if they get too close. Uh, I think it's a good thing that she's in the women's division. Oh god, oh god, I do not trust her those scissors. Or those uh, clippers. Oh uh, god. I mean, she might just mow the lawn. She might just trim the lawn, though. And I... What about... She's just doing another dance. Oh god, she's got her eye on that one obvious fan. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. <laughs> oh no, what are you doing, those spiders? <laughs> oh. Who could have four 
seen this. <laughs> uh.